today. He's standing on the bed. Oh, look at that. We've got a little drop of water. That's where when our water line leaked. What are you doing up there? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, draining the drop back. Now I will come down and turn it back on and suck some more water. Look at that agility. Oh, you'd think I was a young pup. Oh. is a real sucker. Isn't that right? <laughs> and when you have to drain the vacuum, you stick your head up through the port, you take off the valve on the bottom of the vacuum and you dump it. Now it's already dumped, so I'm not going to take the valve off, but that's the way it works. Bye. <laughs> o'clock in the morning and we're leaving Dartmouth Yacht Club now. There you go. How does it feel, Captain, to be away? Oh God, feels good. Feels good. And fellow travellers, Brett and I are off. Yeah, I know you wondered what the smell was, but we just left Dartmouth Yacht Club and we're heading to Halifax and then out to the ocean. We're going down east towards Cape Breton. It's a beautiful day, quite calm, uh, but a good opportunity to test our electric motor out again. This was built by Thunderstruck and some of you may remember that we pulled our Perkins diesel engine out in 2018. So this will be the first long trip with our electric motor that's powered by the sun through um, lithium batteries that came from a Nissan Leaf vehicle. So we're wind and solar power um, on board Theros. Captain Slog.
ไม่ได้ก็โอนเลยนะเนี่ยนะคะโชว์แบงค์ที่ไม่ได้แฮปปี้เพย์เปลี่ยนแซนด์แต่ยังไม่สปอตอันนั้นเลยนะคะโอ้ยยูจะเห็นIsland we're just going by doesn't look like much, but underneath uh, that top part is an underground vault, and it was really a prison uh, for the Acadians a long time ago. And from what I gather, there is actually a tunnel that goes under the channel bed and comes up past Pier 21 on the other side here. Um, that may all be. Fable, but that's what I can tell. Well, folks, I don't know. I told their pirates wear patches, but I've never seen one like that on a pirate. I don't know.
How do you know you're in the North Atlantic in July? It's freaking cold out here, folks. folks we're just cruising along on our storm jib right now it's we're not in a real hurry we're doing about five knots uh quite rolly out here it's not been a real comfortable sail today but um we're about oh, an hour and a half maybe two hours from getting into an anchorage and uh we'll stay there overnight and rest and uh and cook some food and but I, I've been towing the uh, dinghy and I'm going to pull it up and take the engine off of it and uh, get it on the swim platform because I'm just uncomfortable with it there. I'm afraid it might take off on us and it would be a hell to catch. So uh, that'll be our little job after dinner this evening is to get the motor off and into the uh, hold and uh, get the dinghy on the back for now. Uh, make a big difference to our sailing. We'll see. Anyway, about two hours out and everything's looking well. Oh well, yeah, it's just after four o'clock in the afternoon. We've been um, out on the water since 10 this morning. As you can tell, even though it's the middle of July, it's a tad chilly out here. So I've even had to put my rain jacket on, which is a bit of a wind cheater. Um, I have been feeling a little bit queasy this afternoon, but I haven't actually thrown up. So all in all, it's, it's all good.
If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you next time. Bye for now.